Yo, you listening to the Oprah Row Show with TT and Gigi, and yeah, get it pop, get it pop. Thoughts. Everything begins with thoughts. She's a slut, she's a hoe, she's this, she's that. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. It's about people being uncomfortable with women owning women their sexuality. What is the truest, highest vision that you hold for yourself? I'm a real ass bitch, and I'm going to get everything that I'm going to get on my own. Oh, I know for sure. You don't get what you wish for. You get what you believe in. Hi. What's up? What's hey, up? Hello. Hey guys, I'm TT. I'm Gigi. And I'm Dee Dee. And this is episode 171 of the Oprah Rose Show. We We're got TT back. back. Oh my God. Yay! I missed so much. I felt like so bad. It's the only episode I've ever missed. And I, I felt crazy as shit. Like, I mean, you was partying. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's be clear. I would, no, no, no. No, no, no. What? no. So you weren't partying? No, bitch. I was at a I what I thought was a surprise birthday, you right? Me a bitch, yo. I, I sure <laughs> did. Uh, I, I, I was at a what I thought was a surprise birthday that was for a really good friend. Oh, really, and that, that just had mm. twins. Twins, yeah. So I knew her time limit was literally like an hour and a half or something like that. So I get there, you know, like the initial time that it was supposed to start. My stupid, I'm the second one there. I started setting up because I'm like, oh, well, I'm wow. early. Wow, like, set oh, up committee. Set up committee because I knew I had to record and I knew that obviously she has like a very set amount of time because she has twins and I was right. in Jersey. I get there and there's like externals and like mad food that I was like, I'm sorry, what is this? I thought this was like the girls. It's like six of us that we kicking it. No, no, no. It was a whole ass Friendsgiving. It was, it was like super lit. I actually had a ball. Um, but she ended. She did not end up coming until the time that I was supposed to leave because it was not a birthday. It was a friendsgiving. So That's, I mean, it was. I mean, it looked really nice. Shout out to Sophia. Happy belated birthday. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Shout out to you, boo. Yes, yes. Closing on her house, twins, and all of that. So yeah. blessings in twenty twenty. Yeah. Right. Shit. Safely delivering twins. Y'all know it'd be. Black women be dying and shit having these babies. So Which twins. We have a is... whole other com- we we have a whole other episode yeah. with that. Um, you know, so. it, it is a pandemic for some people. So yeah, if you no. want to check that out, it's called Eggs Over Easy, I believe. No, but we're having another one. You know, we're having. Oh, we an are. Yes, that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Look at you giving them exclusives. I was going back. Yeah, you going back, yeah. and I'm going forward, baby. Come on, that's how we do. 2021 <laughs> coming up. 2021 coming Cleopatra up. Cleopatra coming at you. <laughs> also, oh, real that quick, was a bop. I know. Log I was out. About to say, forgive my appearance. I look how I feel. We've all been drinking. We're all angry. So and less. if you see this right now, that means you are a Patreon subscriber. And if you are not, make sure you sign up for Patreon so you can see the girls. Well, up the, on. The, the shows go live after the fact, but Patreon sees it first. That's all. Yeah, sorry. There and I don't know. So I'm like, go. yeah, I'm trying just, to I get think. our YouTube money up. So that's why I was like, you know. Anyway, <laughs> nah, GB, all like I wish that people could be in our text thread, the Oprah Rose text thread. It's like the three of us and Alyssa, and literally like GB, like on us, like it's given GG knows, like no, not GG knows. knows. <laughs> all mine just be like, did this person have work done? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> every text message, I'm like, hey, it'd be seven a.m. Hey guys, did Rachel <laughs> Carter? <laughs> Etching or not, like, and I was like, I'm not a hater or anything, but we were, we all were like, no, she looks good. <laughs> she looks so like good. Remy Ma, but she looks great. Like, she looks amazing. She Girl, looks I put on my damn waist trainer today because I need that stomach to look like hers. I'm gonna do this again, bitch. You're not gonna achieve the look <laughs> that you want. Yep. That bitch was hard as hell. Yeah, like, it was so like. You're not going to get to the point that you're trying to get to until you actually go under. You better be like Funk Flex and you better get your little cool sculpting and call it a day. There's a hater in the room. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. Because she's doing all of that. When I get my whole new body done, bitch, talk to me nice. Or don't talk to me. Or don't talk to me. We in the spot. We in the uh, way. uh, uh, uh. I ain't answering the phone unless it's money. Okay, let's introduce our guest because she is over here literally having a pussy spasm ready to get on the mic. (laughs) But she is such a good podcaster herself that she has not made a fucking peep until 
rightfully introduced. I love it. Welcome, Miss Daja Bell from So Shameless. Bye, 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 bye. Yes. Yes. Hi, Bo. I love it here. This is like my favorite <laughs> place to come. No, I love okay. <laughs> Is she being so we coy? Appreciate that. No, I'm dead ass serious. I, yep, yeah, I don't fucking like people. <laughs> One thing about Dodge, she true. don't like you. Do keep it the fuck funky. So yeah, Dodge, what's your rising sign? Because you're a Cancer, and you're very much so Cancer. But there is some, Her there's cancer? some fire in your chart. Like, you know, it's a couple of things in there. Hold mm. on, let me pull it up because I don't know. Okay. It it's giving me Leo somewhere up in there. <laughs> Or, or Sagittarius. I'm just getting fairies. Oh, oh, I'm getting don't fire. give me the devil. Do not <laughs> bring it in my house. I'm getting fire. Oh, okay, so okay, fire okay. in there. So wait, what, what you want to know? Rising and moon. My rising is Cancer. What? My moon is a Scorpio. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, wait, you're you know. double Cancer? Double yes, cancer. I am double Cancer. I my, no, my, I'm also my double cancer, cancer. I'm Cancer, Cancer rising, Cancer sun. I'm a Leo, Venus, and Mars. Okay, I'm a Scorpio, good. Moon, and Pluto. You lose me on all that shit. I don't know. <laughs> no, my Venus, that's the way that I love. Let me see that's that. the yeah. way that I love. That's my Leo. But it's so funny because I, I like my boyfriend is a Gemini, right? And I, I love Geminis, but they I do too. always a little bit of iffy in here. But I, I did his them. chart. I did his chart and his Venus was in Cancer. And I said, that's it. Mm. That's, that's why y'all work. That's okay. why we work. Yeah. That makes, yeah. yeah. Because mm-hmm. you love me the way that I love, so we love each other the way that I need to be loved. Mm-hmm. Well, let me yeah. go look to see what sense. my Venus is. V- Venus is very important in the aspect of love. I love that you said that, Dodge. I absolutely love that you said that. I'm so surprised, though, by your... It's no all water, but you are mm-hmm. so intent. But you know what? That makes sense, because water... Be, not give me cancer, cancer. <laughs> I, I know. I was like, yeah. she a rising Aries with something nah. fire. I was thinking rising, but you... you I think it's and and another thing I was pretty much raised like my mom was a Scorpio um my dad is a Gemini but my best friend is also a Gemini and my best friend Mm kind of raised me too so I've been surrounded by a lot of Gemini energy which made me very feisty because I was I'm very Mm. sensitive but with all of these Geminis around me like you had to get a Gemini Yeah, and she basically raised me from 15 until like 20 something. So within that, like she made sure like all of the pussy that was in me, she oh. it, 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 out. it out of me. I yeah. did not. not realize like my great grandmother is a Gemini. And so obviously she literally raised me from mm-hmm. and I mean, over the Thanksgiving break at one point I was like, sis, is there beef? And she's 94. And I was like, <laughs> is, there something, is, is there beef? Is there something? I said, you've been at my neck all day. And she's like, no, no. but she just is so spicy. She was talking with my mm-hmm. ex-boyfriend. She said his stupid ass. I know what he did. He didn't do anything. I don't even know what she thought. She, but according but to him, crazy. Yeah, like so. And I'm like, oh, so when you said that, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. that makes so much sense to me. I like, didn't know that my Venus was in Gemini. So was my Moon. Oh come on. Oh wow. No. Oh, so oh, you my. you was really feeling all of this like, that Gemini Moon last I'm night. I'm telling y'all, I was tweeting about it to let the world know it's coming because I, I'm feeling it. So I was feeling it too. Feeling I it. had to um I had to check on the Gemini. I like, didn't. You should have checked on me. I told you check on I me. <laughs> I literally I tweeted you and said, check on me too, because my I moon is a Gemini. Friend. I have I'm no Gemini in my chart. I'm a Cancer Venus. So I don't <clears> even <throat> I'm super emo. Oh, 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 baby. And I'm a Cancer okay. rising. Oh, oh, baby. This is why I love you so much. And this is why I love that. We I got three Cancer risings on here. Sorry, Yeah. Dude. Come it's up okay. with the emotions. It's just the emotions. Oh my god, we look, we got the the videos caught up in sorrow. Oh, raise raise a glass for me if you can, right? I gotta do so now. I gotta see the now. I want to check for my stupid ass, uh, whatever. I need to check. (laughs) So the girls are angry, by the way. I just want to put that on first on on front street because of this um full moon in Gemini. Yes, (laughs) you gotta start with that. The girls are angry. It's a little bit of attitude in the room. It's all right. You know what? I take that back. No, the people are angry, I think. So we, I think it was over the weekend. And, you know, I hope everybody enjoyed their 
COVID free Thanksgiving and you ate a lot of food and you got fucked up and you drank and you went to sleep or whatever the fuck you did. But I think everybody was so fucking bored that the topics that have hit the Twitter sphere over the next few days, I, they, they are unimaginable. Like, I cannot believe the topic that had started happening. And I think it was the first one on Saturday was the whole Kevin Hart debacle, which I, I don't even I was asleep. I've, I've been trying to get into the crown. I fall asleep every time I watch it. So I was doing that. And I, and I got a text like, oh, come in the room or blah, blah, blah. And I guess and this was know, on Clubhouse. Just I'm sorry. Yeah. People who don't know. Yes. Uh, thank you. Sorry. You uh, for, the, for the losers that don't have an invite. Losers. <laughs> but I feel like everybody got an invite. Like literally no, I can like, some I, I have invites. Like somebody can have my, I, I literally. Yeah, I think if you everybody, need invites, hit us up. Like we got up. invites. Yeah. yeah hit if us up, you yeah. need an invite from me, I'm selling them because I ain't giving y'all I shit for free. Can't. You fucking and, friendless losers. And I feel like we, we talked about Clubhouse, what, like three or four weeks ago. And I think yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't now, you know, like I was on it in September or late August. And like, it's just so different that I was like, I don't really like this. Um, we could get into that later, that whatever. Um, and I actually had somebody, one of my coworkers today say, she was like, she did not like the exclusivity of it. She was like, I don't like things that tell people you can't be a part of this. So I would never say that I was on it. But you got to think if you're starting something new, that's a part of making people actually want to be a part of it. Because Bitch, you, you know I'm an elitist. I love exclusivity. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, I don't if give you a you tell God. me, like, let me give you an invite so you can join this thing. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Let, me, let me join and I, them. Honestly, I did not know what it was. So like, I, I you know, in all, like July, I was like, I'm not doing this. Anymore. And I'm mad that you didn't tell me because I'm like, damn, I, I knew no, all no. of the- No, I did. not in July. No, remember the issue was when they first started, you could not invite people. So when I finally got on and I saw what it was, what, what, I didn't remember, I didn't know what it was. Oh yeah. So when I got- But no, it's like all the tech people were like, damn, I wish you would have hit me back when we would have just yeah, like I, I was like, I don't know what this is. Like blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and the little pieces that I have seen, like, you know, initially again, you had to have a um, welcoming thing. Like I'm, I was like on a yeah. call and I'm like, the fuck, we really doing this welcoming shit? Okay, all right, cool. Like you had to have one and, and all the other things that happened. I think it's great. I think it's great. Like, I guess another thing for people to connect, but I, I don't, I don't need any other ways to connect. So I, for me, it's, it's a fair. Dumb. I'm, I'm super good. I know the people that I want to talk to. I'm on zoom fucking 11 AM to 7 PM at night. I do not need another version of zoom. Oh but, yeah. Like with clubhouse, I, I only can give it like 20, 15, 20 minutes max. And I check out. And the issue is if you come in midway through a conversation, you really don't even know what the fuck is going on. Oh, I did like, that the other night. <laughs> but and, we and me, I'll be like, mm-hmm. that. and I'll be like, it's giving Zoom. I got to get out. So, so what I, happened Saturday? Well, Saturday, I guess they, they someone started a chat that said, um, and, and Alyssa, I need you to chime in too because you really be knowing this shit too. So Alyssa has been real quiet. I ain't heard from her even before we started. And yes, I'm drunk. So the Kevin Hart situation. Come on, mom. <laughs> Where I'm like, and yes, I'm drunk. <laughs> You know, and she yes, was talking. Yes. If y'all watched the last fucking, um, I can't even fucking talk. Patreon, when you was talking about me being drunk, wow. Go I'm ahead. Catching up, TT. I'm catching up. Listen, ke- please catch up. I told you I had a rough day. Um, but Kevin Hart basically, there was a room that said, um, "Is Kevin Hart funny?" Uh, loosely, and obviously, like Kevin Hart joins the room, and I guess it just, you know. As the women were speaking, the women were being cut off from saying their points. And I, and I, I think as you know, so I want you to jump in here. Can, I, in here. can I just point out that this room was also started and created by Kevin Hart himself to promote. Wait, wait, was uh, it? Are you sure? He, yes, he, he released it on Netflix. I mean, on Netflix or on Twitter. He released it on. I follow him on Twitter. So he released a video. He saying, started, I started this room. He no, said, but I, I saw that. I follow him, too. But I thought he just said that was a mark. Like, I didn't think he released two videos. And the first one, Mm -hmm. he was like, yeah, I had a great conversation on Clubhouse, blah, blah, blah. Then the second video, he was like, he was addressing whatever comment that I was. I got in the room at the tail end, so I missed a lot of this. But whatever the young lady was speaking about with 
how it got all twisted about black women and, and black men being against black women or whatever. He was like, that was not the purpose of this room. I don't have any other way to promote because we're in COVID. I'm doing everything from my house. So I have to utilize every outlet that I can possible to promote um, sticks and stuff, or whatever, whatever, whatever the Netflix special is that he had. And to his point, he said, my streams have gone up. I'm engaging and creating these places for conversation. Clubhouse is the outlet specifically geared towards having conversation. So that is a key point that I wanted to bring up wow. in the guise of this so wait, conversation. But I, so I did see that, but I, 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 for me, I took that as somebody told me that he's also an early founder. So someone mm -hmm. pinged him into the room. Like the room was yeah. already started by somebody mm -hmm. else. And then, yeah. yes, and then he used it as a marketing, you know, I'm right. going to quote, use it as a marketing tool. But I still didn't think that he started the room per se. Maybe that was how well, he, he, he probably didn't, but that was yeah. what he said. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. How but I think he just it. used it as a, like a tool. Right. I think he used it as yeah. a tool, but I don't think he like started the room. Yeah, no, it, it he didn't, didn't start it. Yeah, no, it, he didn't start it. It went, but it was a lot. I was around, you know, I was in and out in the beginning and then I and I, I was happened to be there during the controversy. And this is what I'm going to say. If you're in a room, let's say we start a clubhouse room right now and it's us on a stage. And the topic is, is Daja a bitch? And then you're going to invite a whole bunch of other people to come up and say, you know, well, Dodge, sometimes when you're on so shameless, I don't really like when you say X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, okay, I can understand where that's coming from, blah, 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 blah. We have a little discourse, move on. And then there's another person and there's another person. And then let's say that there's somebody that comes up and just starts, yeah, well, I think that you feed into the misogyny of America and you are what's wrong with black women in America. As my friends, y'all gonna be like, ah, 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 bitch, you're doing a lot. Relax, that's not the right narrative. That's not what she is, that's not how she is. So from my perspective, what I saw was somebody, and I'm gonna say this a little bit loosely, but y'all know me, so whatever. Right, I'm like, is it loose? People, don't know how to talk to people that they don't know. Mm -hmm. They talk to people that they know of, that they have in, like an opinion on, but you talk to them like it's brass facts. And I don't mm -hmm. think that that's how you should talk to people, regardless of the status Word. of that person. That's not how you talk to people. So what I felt like, I felt like there was a lot of aggression coming from certain women in that chat towards Kevin because they did not like a joke that he said. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody knows me. One thing I'm not, and I'll say this shit with my chest. I'm not a fucking feminist. I don't know what y'all bitches be talking about. I don't want to take out the garbage. I'm not building shit. I need a man for all the things that I don't want to do. I am not fucking super black woman. Dun, 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 dun. I can do it all. No, I can't. And I won't. Nope, you're here. It's giving, I'm not damsel, it's giving damsel in distress. It's giving damsel. And I'm not I'm, here. I'm I, I, I did it today. I was like, I can't even do this. I, I, dun, 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 dun. I want Dodge to complete her point for sure. Like, I can't. Like, I'm not Damn. doing that. So within that, I have a different sense of humor. And my sense of humor is very dark and it's very inappropriate. That's, and that's there are not a lot of things. <laughs> there are not a lot of things that offend me but i watched that special through and through Same. yes Before. he calls his daughter a hoe yes it was in jest it was, was funny it that actually no it was the point the bigger point that he made i thought was more important than that little caveat like it, it is not that like he didn't say yo my daughter's a hoe he literally said wait whole activity is my daughter a hoe is she participating in whole like activity? And then as he continued to unravel the joke, he said, you know what? I completely understand where she's coming from and how she decided to like three niggas in a, in a fucking month. He sided right. with his daughter. Right. So what are you bitches mad about? And, and also, think, we both on. have daughters. The two of us. Come on. Two, and I, I too watched the special. I too saw that joke and I too am like super protective of my daughter and completely conscious about the way that I raise a young black woman in America because that is me. 
right? So I, and I was not, I did not understand the hoopla of the joke, just like you. All right. Mm -hmm. Unmoved. Also, well, this, this is my thing, right? And I think, you know, celebrity culture, obviously we cannot talk about this and then not talk about that. Like celebrity culture is such a huge part of this. And my thing is as any artist that grows, right? What else are you talking about? So, you know, Kevin Hart only now, if, if he's not cheating, you know, then he can only talk about like about COVID his and his kid and his family because that right. is his life. He talked about how boring he was, how he don't give a fuck. He's like, I'm 40. My wife is, you know, whatever, 35. Like, I don't care. What trying she to fuck does. all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's trying like, to- no, I'm trying to sleep. Like, because that is my life now. And you cannot be mad about someone that is speaking to the times of their life. It's like, you know, when Jay started progressing and talking about shit that was kind of like over people's heads. Well, he's not at the same place that he was before. So you should be able to grow with, and you can't always grow with your audience, but you as a person should be Mm -hmm. able to grow and say, but these are my experiences. This is what I am going through. And I'm like, I, I, it was the, was a special like laugh out loud, fucking hilarious. No, not at all. But it was entertaining. Was it, was it good? Yeah, was it good? Yeah, did I finish it? Yeah, like, did, was I offended at any point in that special? Absolutely not. If anything, I, I thought he over-apologized for all of his jokes during the special. Like, mm-hmm. he apologized yeah. for disabled people. He apologized for, like, he apologized for everything as he was saying a joke. And so I think even a lot of times, like, people miss the idea of comedy and that you're supposed to laugh through the pain and laugh through these dark times and or, like things that or, are like look, you, that you take, or, I was like, or, or okay or, you say your or and I'm gonna say my or if I don't I am 31 years old okay if I don't like something I turn the shit off <clears throat> I'm on now. If there's a tweet of mine that goes viral and people are dragging me I mute that bitch Okay? okay, if I'm on the phone with somebody and I don't want to talk to you anymore, I hang up. What do you weird motherfuckers do? You watch the whole thing and then you make a think piece about all the shit that you hated. You knew you hated the shit 25 minutes in. How the fuck did you make it to an hour? You weirdo. I got problems yes. with these bitches. You know, yes. I don't like that. That is just such a good fucking point, dog. You just I mean, want to be mad to be literally. mad. To be- I, I said that I said the other day I said and that, that's honestly I'm not gonna lie that is also part of my issue even just going back to the clubhouse thing I was like during my day there are so many fires from fucking 2 a.m. to whatever time that I have to put out that I, I can't even, fake outrage I can't I cannot I would never ever ever be so vested in someone else's life that is not paying my bills because guess what rent was due today so I paid that bill. I hope That's Kevin what. Hart paid y'all shit. I y'all hope, I hope Kevin Hart paid five it. hours of your clubhouse hours. I, I, I hope we, he paid my y'all? American Express bill was paid today. Okay. She's a Jesus. fucking hefty penny. Okay. Like all of these things. I'm like, I cannot worry about that. That I think sometimes I'm like, and I'm just saying, this, I'm like, is it I th- low key? This is what I also think. I think people started hating Kevin Hart and we got to this point. And it was like, let's all hate Kevin. Hart. Now Please I'm not say saying it. we, but I'm saying like collectively. When did it happen yes. though? I, think I was gonna make this point, but I when he, mm. yeah, I think it was. Remember when he made the homophobic state, homophobic statement? Okay, the I Emmys. think it was before he that. Became, yeah, but he became so big. He became, and he mm. said something. I think in one of those um, apologies. But he not even never apologize. apologized for that. Okay, so here homophobic was also the statement. statement. He, what the, did he even? What did he? It was something. He oh he. I think he said he didn't was, want his. It was son like to a 2009 gay. tweet, or maybe even that right. was early. But it, it was, was like a tweet. His son wanted a dollhouse. He yeah, was oh, that's right. He was over like, his yeah. head or some shit but, like that. And here's my problem with that. And this is what I be talking about with you new niggas and your fucking multi syllable words. I don't like that shit. Okay, because he said that in his first or second comedy special. He said it oh. on stage out loud. You motherfuckers didn't care. Nobody cared. I laughed. You know why? Because ha ha kiki. It's a motherfucking joke. Just like when Bernie Mac was on the fucking Kings of Comedy and calls his little nephew a F word and was like, yeah, go get me the milk and cookies. Everybody was saying milk and cookies, milk and cookies. He called the little girl who was younger than the kid that he was talking about a little. He was like, and in this little what, what he called a little bow legged bitch or bow legged. I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. Thing just wasn't mad then stop bringing outrage to it from a different time into now 
That's stupid. You should have been mad when he said the shit in 2007, but he wasn't bigger big enough. enough. And he wasn't exactly. Kevin Hart. So now he's Kevin Hart. And now he's about to host the Grammys or Oscars or whatever that white shit. It was shit. the Emmys. Wasn't it? it was the Oscars it or It was Emmys? the Emmys. The, the Emmys. Whatever. No. White people shit. He was about to host this white people shit. And y'all wanna and y'all wanna go back and y'all wanna find a tweet for 10 years ago and then you want a nigga to apologize. Let me tell you something. One thing about Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart is a motherfucking cancer. And the one thing that my cancer ass is not finna do, I wish a bitch would tell me to apologize for something that I said 10 years ago. Fuck my dick. No, no. Did I say it today? Did I say it today? Because I am you're a different cancer. I am not the same person today that I was 10 years ago. I didn't said and did some problematic shit. It depends on who brought it up ago. to me. It depends on who brought it up to me if I would I don't give a fuck. No, but I is. think but especially I think especially if I didn't know you when I said it cuz yeah. it wasn't about you. So what am I I'm apologizing for a hypothetical situation in your head? Nigga, no. No. That and I think that's the bigger issue. It does not lend to people being able to grow. Like Bro, I've yeah. probably said shit you know, ten, not probably. I have said shit ten years, shit five years ago that like now yeah. I would never say. Maybe even oh, three absolutely. years ago. Yeah. And I think mm-hmm. people just get they they were so stuck in their heads about stuck in their heads. Sorry about that. And then he would not apologize. Which yeah. Loki, I kind of but he kind of did though. Good he, firm. He was like, I'm not. This isn't a reflection of who I am today. Like that was a joke that I made when I made yeah. it. And, and he was like, I'm but not going like, to apologize not, for making a joke that I made that I made then. years ago. But I, that is even, not a reflection of how I feel now. Even I remember when I did when when I was little Nas X's publicist and we did the shop. And I remember oh, and I yeah. was so nervous like yeah. I, I remember i low-key i wanted to leave because this was right after that right or right after after that. That. Yeah. It, was, it was like kind of after and i did i literally wanted to leave because you know i was so protective over him mm-hmm. so and i'm like and it was charlemagne and him which i had no idea about so it's like it's giving oh my god this is gonna be a disaster when i tell you he was so gracious and like i mean after I was right there. Like I'm whole cause I'm, I, I'm that project. Like I'm, I'm literally, we're like this. And he's like, anything you need, I got you. Blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Like, I love you. Like he's, he was dropping gems to him. He's like drop. We were there for, I was there for literally like eight hours, something like that. Like we were there forever. And then after obviously clickbait things, you know, you have to like, you take certain clips because of people's already preconceived notions of what Kevin Hart has said. People were hitting me like, I can't believe he said that. And I'm like, no, I was there. And it wasn't, it was not yeah. like, it well, should I think I was one of them it people who hit you? Yeah. It, and I'm like, no, 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 it was not that. And then remember he got in the car accident the next mm-hmm. day. So then he could not defend himself on top of all that. And I remember I was like, damn, I feel so bad for this man. Swapped like, up. it wasn't that at all. You were nothing but like super supportive. And I that mean, was like the next day. Wow. It was the next. It was the next. I, I, I'll never get that time in my life because it was it was VMA. Damn. It was VMA weekend. So it was just like it, everything was like a lot. It was just like moving yeah. around. And it, and he literally, and then he couldn't speak. He couldn't apologize for that. Like there was, there was a, and there was mad backlash for that. And I'm like, yo, he never ever said that. Like he was joking on his brother that I was like, oh my God. Like, I was like, okay. Cause everybody's fucked up at this point. You know, it was a bar. Mm-hmm. So we're all fucked. I remember I was fucked up and it was my birthday. <laughs> Come on. I was like, I have to work and I'm so drunk. <laughs> like it's giving that. But he like, again, I think people, you know, it's so much easier to also see like the bad in somebody and like mm-hmm. attach to that and say, okay, well, this is what we're going to run with. And that's it. Cause I'm like, bro, I watched the special. <coughs> I, and then I think, no, but Daryl, you brought up a point about going back to the clubhouse chat about the girl bringing up Bill Cosby and him not. That was, up. that was the, the climax, if you will, of, of the whole chat about is Kevin Hart funny when, a young lady brought up the fact around like, you know, what happened with Bill Cosby and the fact that Kevin Hart didn't speak up and that he didn't really speak up for black women that were victims. I don't fucking have to. And so that was really the climax of the of the chat in a way because she was, I, I don't want to say that she was twisting the question, but it was twisting in the sense of like it honing in on black women. And it's like, so he asked her, he was like, do you think that I think that Bill Cosby did 
he did the right thing? And she was like, no. I, he was I was like, there then. Okay. He yes. was like, do you think that I agree with what he did? She was like, no. And she was like, well, do you think that I show up? Like I didn't show up for black women because I didn't say anything. She was like, no. So he what felt is your like point? his, right. He felt like, what's your question or what's your point? And so at that point, I think that's when the moderators and a bunch of people kind of jumped in like, whoa, whoa, like, Kevin is a, you know, Kevin is in a sense is a celebrity given his time and he was on Clubhouse for two hours answering mm-hmm. questions from everyone that was like every which away in a sense and and I, I don't want to say that she was being disrespectful but it was just kind of like what's your what's your angle what's your but point I, what are you trying I to think, get out of this I think even does you said it like you and I don't care who you are right because at the end of the day everybody puts their pants leg on at one time and you put the other one on right. so you should treat everybody with respect i don't give yeah, a fuck don't what try to trick me now. up in old bill yeah. cosby shit. i don't i don't yeah i don't care how much money you have like what movies you've done whatever but you if you are approaching someone with energy and like ferocity like obviously someone is going to be on the defense like yeah. and i'm going to defend my point also like you said i don't have to defend black I women. Oh, you niggas shit. I I'm like, to. what the Thanks. fuck is wrong with y'all? It's like y'all, y'all, y'all wanna y'all wanna take control over everybody's everything. I will never forgive you niggers and how mad y'all was because Drake didn't tell us he had a kid. He don't have to tell us shit. Like, what is wrong with y'all? And everybody's like, oh, yeah, he's hiding his son. I'm pretty sure he knows he has a son. I'm pretty sure his mama knows. I'm pretty sure 40 knows. I'm pretty sure the whole OVO and sent that little nigga mad fucking owls and shit. Y'all don't matter. And that's the problem. Stop talking to people like they owe you something. Just because I'm a black comedian doesn't mean that I have to sit on my soapbox and tell y'all everything that you want to hear. I don't owe you that. My job as a celebrity comedian is to make you niggas laugh. And if you don't laugh, then I'm not the comedian for you and keep it moving. I don't owe y'all any of this other stuff. And it's so funny that these Feminists always want to talk about, oh, I don't need men to speak for me. I don't need men to speak up for me. But then your question is why you didn't speak for me? Bitch, shut up. Like, what is your point? So this was this. Okay. And this was my, this was you. I forgot that this was the point that angered me the most. I never have claimed to be a feminist. I just believe in equal pay for everybody. That's the only thing. My bank account. Ching, ching. My money. That's all I want. What about that ching, ching, ching? What about that bling, bling, bling? Okay. That's the only thing I care about. Otherwise, like you said, I'm giving, oh, I can't (laughs) open the bottle of wine. Like I did that. I literally couldn't. I, 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 certain things I don't feel like as a woman, I should fucking have to do. So oh my when, God, babe, this bag is so heavy. Can oh, you- no, I, no, I'm not. I'm not. Those I wish of- I could clock into that sometimes. You can. You should. You should. <laughs> you can. Demand I'll it. teach you. I'll yeah, teach I was, you. Okay, I was just please. About, listen, there's a lot of things that I have to like set to be like, I ain't doing that. So Because I've been it. talking about this light being out for a couple of days now. Oh, it's oh. easy. Can you please come now. over here and change my light? Because I was about to say I'm now. just not. It's and not my See, and my type A ass will be like, you didn't do it in 15 minutes? Well, I did it in five. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but the, another thing right. about and the I'm a, chat I'm a with Kevin, about it all night. the other thing about that I want to hone Wait, in hold on. Hold on. Sorry, Didi. Sorry. Her, her, so, but let me just say my point real quick. Real go quick. ahead. Go ahead. This, this is forget. the point that, in, that I would say endangered me. It angered me the most. <laughs> but it, it, it did endanger me. <laughs> we as women, specifically black women, right? We got to pick what is our fight. So I would never claim to be a feminist because whatever the white woman is fighting, I don't even know what they fighting because I ain't fighting that. I am fighting. I said, and this is, you know, my job now before whatever. And you say something, not now, not now, but before. And I would have to have men say my ideas and they would have to reiterate things that I have said. And I've had men that just like glossed over you and like, oh, you just, you here for like shits and giggles and do not respect your crap. I, again, the only thing I care about is money. So I'm trying to get to that. So anything that hinders me from there, that is my issue. That is what I take issue with. So do I care again about Kevin Hart and all that shit? No. Like, I feel like we need a, a black, 
woman um, consensus on what are the things that we care about? And these are the things that we have to hold everybody to accountable, black men, women, white men, people, everybody. So whatever fight that they were fighting, that's why I couldn't get behind it. Cause like you said, I, I don't, I don't care about him talking about Bill Cosby. Like, I just don't give a fuck. I don't, don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. He in jail. Bill Cosby is in jail. What type of retribution are you looking for, ma'am? And that like, made Kevin leave the fucking chat because he was so upset that he, he said to send the, yeah. the young lady back to the audience. And no shade, oh. send her back to the send audience. The fa- send her the fuck back. That's not what this is for. And but those victims are getting their justice by retribution, the money, whatever. And then he's in jail. Like, what are you? Dude, what? This is a stage and a platform for we to talk constructively and, and give good feedback. Don't bring up to me what another black man is doing. And also, well, nobody's saying. What I'm doing. Also, no one's saying that what he did was okay. And I think that's what people can't really see. Like, hey, I can completely disagree with what he did and I can also not give a fuck. And that's where I literally stand in between. Like, I don't care what he did. Like, I, I'm sorry, I take that back. I do care what he did because it's egregious and it's horrible and I do not right. stand behind it. But am I going to like be burdened by it? No, because I can't. But there's a um, there's a piece that we are missing um, and this is where I disagree with Kevin completely. There are certain people in the culture whose name alone is radioactive. And no matter how you speak on their name, there's always going to be somebody to take it out of context. So there are certain names that I don't think that we should speak in the culture period, i.e. Bill Cosby, i.e. R. Kelly. They are just too radioactive. And yeah. your point, your major point, what happens is it gets lost once you use their names because as soon as you bring them up, it's like, oh, you're in a rape apologist. It's like, no. no. So what happened was Ed Lover decided to make a statement and within, and I, I, I can't, remember it verbatim because this is a week ago but Ed Lover basically said that in the black community that we're basically crabs in a barrel everybody supports you when you're low but as soon as you hit peak or a certain level of stardom they don't support you anymore and they tend to turn their back on you and he said and then when you reach that point it's white people that embrace you it's white people that pull you in it's white people that are there for you black people tear each other down but white people embrace us that was a bunch of bullshit Fuck you for saying that and love her. I don't give a shit. But okay, I saw that on Twitter. Oh my god. Kevin said because somebody had already brought up Bill Cosby, and this was Kevin's analogy. Kevin Hart said, I understand what you're saying, Ed Lover, because we're talking about Bill Cosby. And in the context of what we're saying, a black man is the reason why we even know about all the shit that happened with Bill Cosby. Terrible analogy. Wait, what? Sorry, hold on. I'm like... This is what Kevin said, and this is how it got to that level. Kevin basically said, Hannibal Burris... These are facts, though. Wrong room, wrong time. He said, Hannibal Burris is the reason why we even know about everything that happened with Bill Cosby. Am I happy that he did it? Yes. But that was a black man that said something else about another black man. And this is the trickle down effect. Terrible analogy, Kevin. Horrible analogy, Kevin. And that's what pissed people off. Now, my stance on that is Mm. when you are trying to make an example sometimes of things you might use the most universal example and I feel like for Kevin at that moment he gave us the most universal example of what Ed Lover was saying but Bill Cosby's name is so radioactive that Mm. it it sent all those bitches through the roof and they're just like oh my god so you're you're so you're on the side of Bill Cosby and da 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 and then that's when Kevin had to slow he it down. Used a, he should have used a different it was analogy a wrong, to prove it was his a wrong point. Example. So Kevin was like, "All right, I see this is going left, so let's slow this down." Which a lot of people got offended by, like, "Oh, he said he had to break it down for her, like she was stupid." No, he's saying this is getting out of here. I see it going left, so let's break this down. Do you believe that I believe that Bill Cosby is innocent? She mm-hmm. said no. 
He said, do you believe that I believe that Bill Cosby is where he basically needs to be and that's what he deserves? Like that was basically the, the questioning. So she answered that question. He was like, okay, this was, I just used that as an example, but we're here having this conversation. So Kevin at this point is trying to, he was like, and to bring it back round circle, he was like, because in the beginning of this conversation, it was really positive. I'm having positive vibes with all of these people and I see it going negative. So let's bring this conversation back full circle so we can get back to the side of positivity. He said that, Shorty literally said no. That was her answer. He, she, she said, said I choose no. violence, bitch. That was me. That's me all today. She said no. And she was like, because I'm going to get my point across and da, da, da. And then she started berating. Kevin didn't say anything. So now other people are trying, they're like cutting her off again. Like, all right, like we, we're going to move on from this and we're going to talk about yeah, something else. Yeah, um, and you got to talk about your brother too. Mouse was in there being moderator and shit. Well, anyway. I even heard before, right, right. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Anyway. I'm, playing. I'm, but, not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I was like, well, how, I, I said, how Mouse become a moderator in this chat? Does this nigga just know everything and everybody so that Mouse Jones be a Mouse He didn't Jones even like, have a, 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 what is it, that, the little green person, thing? That's the person I would vote to moderate my crazy ass room. Who so to be honest with you. I'm like, Shit. Who do you think hit me? And I was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck is happening in here? And I was like, yeah, he <laughs> needed to moderate the damn room because he brought, I bet he brought some sense to it. And you know, listen, my sleepy ass woke up and was like, Well, he was like, the, no, he I said, was you like, invited me to K. But, but the, this is what he did tell me. He said, Before that, he said, Whenever the men would speak, and this is, and, and I think, and he told me, he said, I know how you hate this. And I brought this up before. Every time the men would speak, they could get their point across when the women would speak, they would cut them off. And then I guess the girl called everybody like dick riders. But wait, I didn't even get there yet because this is what I'm saying. Like this is a buildup of a situation. So now after all of that, she starts getting interrupted again. Okay, I get it. It's frustrating. You're trying to get this point across, but your point is actually negative and it's kind of thrown off the vibe of the room. Read the room, mama. We trying to move on. Mm -hmm. So what happened was as she was getting cut off, that second time, she was like, unlike these men up here on this stage, here's an example. Naeem is on the stage, Kevin Hart's friend and comedian. Spank is on the stage. Mouse is on the stage. Ed Lover is on the stage. And there are a couple of other business people that are close to Kevin on the stage that are men on the stage. Now, here is the statement. Unlike these other men up here on the stage, I don't need nothing from Kevin. I don't want nothing from Kevin. So blah, 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 everybody else, y'all all a bunch of dick riders. Yeah, anybody's going to be triggered. You're, wow. And you so when Ed Lover loses his shit, y'all know he's 50 something yeah. years old. He's a different type of nigga. He said, first yeah, of all, he don't give a I've fuck. known Kevin since before Kevin was Kevin. I've known Kevin before y'all knew him. And I ain't never asked this man for shit in my life. So what you're not going to do is you're not going to fucking disrespect me and call me no goddamn dick rider in front of 5,000 people. Of, you're not. Yeah, you you're not. Fuck? Bitch, who so are you? And that, and, and, and that goes on. Goes back to your original point, Dodge, about people not having the respect to speak to someone that they do not know in stop a manner to people crazy, right? Mm -hmm. and, Sorry, and I need to stop. cut you off. No, nah, you're good. And you're the, good. And the proximity to people, like you said, if my friend, if my friends were in a room and you said Dodge the bitch, like, of course we're gonna be like, no, fuck you, suck my dick, and then right. everybody else is gonna have all these preconceived notions because they don't know you, like. We everybody just need a little motherfucking grace. Like, yeah, I don't care grace. about whatever. Ed, like, matter of fact, oh my god, I just forgot. I totally forgot. I was in a strip club and Ed Lover low key saved me because I don't know what this girl was doing. And then she wanted to fight and I didn't know what was happening. And <laughs> and I was being booed. Honestly, it was just it was me this being bougie. random Ed Lover story. It's such a random <laughs> Ed Lover story. It was me being bougie. And I remember I was like, right. and she literally said that. What's she was new? like, girls come in here and always want to be so fucking cute. And I was like, what the fuck? I, I, I didn't even know where I was coming. I'm just here. This yeah, like you must have had them dollars. Yeah, and like, and Ed like stepped in and was like, and and this and this is also my thing. A man that does not know you, I don't really care a lot, a, a lot about a lot of shit. But a man that does not know you, and he didn't and know me from a can of paint. They stick up for you. Yeah, and he literally was like, "Yo, don't talk." And he told the stripper, "Like, don't talk to her like that." And I'm, I was like, "She got a Playboy bunny purse. This bitch, like, is she crazy? Like, you have a Playboy bunny purse, and it's clear." 
Like, don't, don't. I I hate you hate that. Stop. I hate TT. And he that. and he stepped in. I'm like, but he and again, I don't know this man from a can of paint. So for me, again, seeing I don't have no close proximity to him, but like that is my story with him. So it's like mm-hmm. I would ne- if I was in the room, it's like, no, shorty, you wildin'. Like you're right. not gonna call me or mine or anybody that has ever stood up or done done anything robust. And it ain't even like done anything. Yeah. The whole thing, like you like again, you know what I care about. Nobody yeah. paid these bills this month. Okay. Right. And nobody it's on and it's kicking. So like <laughs> nobody paid. My heat not even on. That's, you cr- that's terrible. But my whole thing, all right. So this is how everything went left in the room. And and this is where Mouse interjected because Ed Lover got really upset. And I am from Brooklyn, if y'all don't know. I am born and bred bed style. And one thing I know and I learned growing up, if it's one thing you don't don't play with dicks and niggas <laughs> from New York. Just don't. No. And then of course, and if you're one of those people like, oh my God, you think it's so rooted in homophobia? Shut up, because it's not about that. It's about respect. It's disrespectful. Yeah, it's yeah. always been disrespectful in New York City. The most disrespectful thing you can say to somebody in New York City, man or woman, is suck my dick. That is yeah. the most disrespectful. Like you can spit in somebody's mother's face and that is not as disrespectful as you telling somebody's mother to suck your dick. So you say suck my dick, you got to be ready to fight. You call me a dick rider, you got to be ready to fight. And it's not about homophobia, not this one. Maybe if y'all use your big words and explain it later, everything, misogyny, blah, blah, blah whatever. Maybe somewhere down the line. I, I don't take it as homophobia. But that's not the way we say it. And that's man, that's man or woman because there are women in New York. I am an advocate user of suck my dick and I don't have a dick. But I when I say suck my dick, I want you to know that I really want violence. That is me inviting you. I to choose it. violence. That's nice. I choose, choose violence. violence. I choose so violence. you're talking about an old school hip hop head. That shit hit him a little bit differently. Is it right the way that he responded? Yes. No. Is it I right mean, though? Even if somebody no. said that shit to me, I'd be like, wait, what, 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 what? You're going to be the fuck off. You're not about to call me no damn dick rider now. You're not. You're calling me a dick rider because I don't agree with your opinions. Also, no. it's I layered. And it's a bunch of bullshit. Dick rider is layered. That is, I'm, you are yeah. a follower. You're a yeah. sheep. Like, it's not even just that. Like, you telling me I'm showing you, off. I'm doing yeah, I'm all showing, of this. Yeah. Like, I'm putting on it. Here. Nah, you call me. Here. You know, I don't like, even that's fight so, we fighting. Mm. That's so disrespectful. So, to Mouse's point, as a person that was on the stage, he basically checked ed lover and was just like listen og i understand that it was disrespectful but we got to respect the women in the room you know she was trying to make a point she couldn't get her point across she couldn't get her point across and you know we need to give her the space to you know say what it is that she needs to say and da 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 so he tried to like kind of smooth it all out a little bit which worked to a degree but again now after all of the disrespect and all of this she's still trying to like bash this point into Kevin's head when Kevin is just like, you know what? Let's just remove her and, put and her move on. on. The female yeah. moderator, the only female moderator that was in the room, she said, I don't feel comfortable she moving did. her. She so did. Oh, yeah. it was other niggas was like, well, I'll do it. <laughs> Look, me. I'll and, do then it. Kevin, <laughs> and then shortly ever, and then shortly after that, Kevin left. And it was it was it was very dramatic. It was a lot, but then somehow that conversation snowballed into black men not respecting black women's that voices. Wasn't and it. Da, da, da. Like that, that was wasn't it. it. They just didn't fuck with what she was saying. And here's another yeah. thing. Here's another thing. This is something that I learned in my life. And again, this is gonna be another one of my problematic points. But don't bring it to me on the timeline because I don't give a fuck. I said what I said. <laughs> problematic, and I don't give a fuck. And Mine told me very... I was going to get him canceled, so. <laughs> he said, I, Wait, said, he said, he he said, said, Mouse said that Mouse said that I am more problem. Him and Savoy actually said that I'm more problematic than him. And I was like, I just I mean, only low care key. about my family and money. And yes, and my friends. Yeah, like, you are low problematic, sis. You are low problematic. Fuck them bitches. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> right. I care about three things. You are problematic. Three things? What's your three things? I know money, family, one of them. Family, money, and friends, and that's it. For <laughs> myself, for 
That's fine. fine that sounds fine. perfectly fine. That sounds perfect. Listen, Why it ain't nothing wrong list? with that. Because oh, I'm oh, on your I, list. Fuck exactly. Everybody, everybody else, fuck them. Right. I, I can't, and I'm a good person. So exactly. innately, I'm a good person. I'm innately, I'm doing what I got to do, but can I care about everybody else? No, the no. fuck, I can't. I can't, I just, I can't, I can't, I'm tired. That's but hilarious. The thing is, and this is, this is something that I realized with a lot of women, um, there are not a lot of women that know how to talk in a room full of men. And mm. oh, well, such a that's thing. a problem, mm. right? And it's not you as a woman. I'm not going to blame the women, but I'm saying like we understand that men command a certain amount of aggression, a certain amount of oomph. And you, it's not about yelling. It's not about screaming. It's not about cursing. It's That's about so real, being able gosh. to stand up for yourself in a room full of men. There has been several times that I have spoken on a stage full of men in Clubhouse, and I will literally be like, oh, "I'm still speaking. I'll wait though." The Kamala and Harris, everybody, thing. right? That's right. real. And then, I'm and speaking, then they will sh- and then and then they will shut the fuck up. And like, all right, still trying to get a point across so nobody speak while I'm speaking. Thank you. And then continue. So if you don't know how to command you, if you're going to come up and volunteer to be up on a stage full of all of these people and you have these points to make, then make your fucking point and go. It's not to argue. It's not to get somebody to agree with what you're saying. Make your point and go. Command the room. And not everybody has that talent. So I don't think that is fair because as a Black community, we have so much other shit that we put on each other. And I don't think that that is fair to put that on each other in those types of situations. So because you couldn't command the respect of everybody that was on the stage as a black man versus white, black woman shit, but then you coming off with these feminist vibes and men can't do shit for you and you're a feminist and you can do it all by yourself, but you want a man to tell other men to tell them to shut the fuck up so you can get, no, you command the respect that you need. I don't get that point. I, I personally don't understand it. It's really, it's such a very, very, very delicate balance of it how, is. like you said, how do you, how do you command a room and stand your peace? And, and no shade, like, listen, I'm not even gonna say she did a bad job. It, it, it was what it was. And I, and I, and I almost low key, I'm like, we've been talking about Kevin Hart for too long because I'm gonna put a pin <laughs> in this. And the other thing, you know, the other thing that, again, I did not want to talk about, but I low key, I feel like we got to talk about the other thing that we have to talk about people not knowing how to talk to people is the owner in Dallas at the, what was that place called? True, True Kitchen. True Kitchen. True kitchen. That, 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 that True. shit is cool. That shit is called cool. Freak Nick Park 2 Twerk Fest. Twerk okay. it up. I'm okay. trying to go down there so I can shake my ass at one of his tables. And I on top of the it. eggs, bitch. Okay. No, on top I of can. the eggs. So real quick, again, you know, G, fill, it, fill in the holes because you know I do a, 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 a set shit up horribly and I'm beginning shit. But basically, like there was a it's a, it's a uh, brunch. She spot she gonna say G set it up and then go set it I up. Keep going. I love T. No, it's, it's okay for her to you know it's a set it up. <laughs> yeah, like, she she set it up. So basically, right? That's my that's my sis. But she but you know what? I wasn't ready to set it up. I wasn't ready nope. to set it up. But the, no, 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 I'm not. That's why she my. You know why? Because we here. We, 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 I'm picking glasses on. Because G and I are here. Okay, we're here. I know. I'm gonna set it up. But G got me. So we go fucking win the champion. Shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. So, true kitchen cocktails, or whatever the fuck it's called. The the owner, you know, apparent allegedly. It ain't no alleged, right? bitch. We saw that shit. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> I'm gonna do the full thing. He, you know, so there were some patrons that were um twerking on their on the couches of this establishment, and he allegedly asked them to, you know, like, hey, don't stand on the furniture, don't like, you know, dance. And then I guess it got to a point. Now, mind you, two chains or whatever as play, you know, little baby is playing in the back, and and bitches is going off. And he, you know, is telling them that like you, you guys are being disrespectful. And how can we have men respect women um, when you guys are up here doing this misogyny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, misogyny. And then some of the patrons were like, "Well, we've been waiting for two hours, so we're fucked up." I.e., me right now. so they're giving they're giving me right now. I oh, and you and oh, and T, you yeah. can't forget that he said, "I don't need your money. You can leave." Ooh, see, Ooh. 
bitch high five. I'm giving you high fives from the East Coast to the West Coast. And then was like, turn the music back you up. Can't, <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. That is the thing. The the most low key. That's kind of like the most important thing. He was like, I don't need your money. Now you a whole ass restaurant t- tour or tier. You need that motherfucking money. Yeah. You you need the money. And he told them you can get up and. Live. Yo, you listening to the Oprah Rose Show with TT and Gigi? And yeah, get it popping. Thoughts. Everything begins with thoughts. She's a slut. She's a hoe. She's this. She's that. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. It's about people being uncomfortable with women owning their sexuality. What is the truest, highest vision that you hold for yourself? I'm a real ass bitch, and I'm gonna get everything that I'm gonna get on my own. I know for sure. You don't get what you wish for. You get what you believe.